welcome back to my kitchen. I am so excited because, like I shared with you before, I am cooking with ladies in my family all month long. And today I'm cooking with my Aunt Lisa. Lisa's down in Charleston. And she is going to be walking us through the steps of a traditional Charleston red rice. Now she's going to do a traditional version. I might do some augmenting. <laughs> Which they, she knows I'm always like adding other stuff, but welcome to the kitchen, Lisa. Woo! So I am I'm excited too. This is like, yeah, I'm so excited to share the food that we eat down in Charleston and share my family with my audience. And so this is like so great. All right, so you're gonna walk us through. So I have all of my ingredients. Let's run through some of the ingredients we have before we get started. So if you want to go green bell pepper. Okay, I have mine. I added some red too. <laughs> okay. We have turkey sausages. Yep, that's what I have. So I have some sausage right here, turkey. And we have some onion. Okay, yep, white onion that we diced up. Okay. Okay. And then and the margarine. Okay, margarine so, first. so we're gonna put our, our she has hers and I'm gonna put mine and I have some butter that I'm putting in my pan. Okay. I'll go ahead and add my green peppers. Okay. So they'll get softened with the butter. Yes. So and you would have you used any other colored peppers with yours yours before? No. Oh, okay. So that's just a little something. If you guys have uh, different, I like to have a lot of color in my food. So I had a, like a half a red pepper and a half a green. So I just cut them both both up and put them in the pan. I mean, put them in a the bowl for the day. Okay, so we got that. Okay, we can go ahead. Pour our onions. Okay. With our peppers. Okay. So we're just basically sauteing up the onions and peppers together. Okay, Lisa, so I'm going to dice up a, a, a clove of, two cloves of fresh garlic. <laughs> Go for it. You're like, you're not doing that. <laughs> no, man. Yeah. So tell us this. So how did you start making, I mean, I know it's traditional for us down in Charleston, but tell us like your first memory of having made this rice. Did Granny teach you how to make it? How did you start yes, making it? Yes, my mother did teach me okay. how to make the red rice. Just watching her. Uh huh. And I find the easier way to do it by putting it in the oven. So oh, okay. But she teach me how to do it. The granny. Yeah. The granny teach you all how to cook. Yeah, she tried to teach the other sister named Jody. Yes. Yeah. We, she had other things on her mind. Yeah, we know. But she went to she got her, you know, older to learn. To learn how to cook. Yeah. Cause Granny could really Yeah, she can cook. She she helped yeah. she raised she helped raise me. So she can yeah. cook. We just gotta work on her pots. <laughs> <laughs> um but the boys didn't really cook, right? No, Ray Ray can cook a little bit. Okay. He do pork and beans and rice, Ray. I was just about to say he does the pork and beans and rice. Yes. Now, do you put salt in here in your in your thing to soften this up? I put a little bit of salt and I put seasoning salt. Okay. Black pepper. So I didn't have any more seasoning salt, but I do have some regular salt. I'm gonna put in a little sprinkle of garlic powder too. <laughs> okay. And I have some black pepper. It's smelling really good right now. Yes. It smells good. I'm gonna go ahead and add the sausage to this pot. Okay. So I'll do my sausage too. So you guys, this is just some smoked sausage, whichever smoked sausage you prefer. Yeah. And you're just slicing it into little little quarters, right? Little medallions. That's how you slice yours. Or does that even matter? It, it depends on how much I cook it. It goes high. Oh, okay. My Got it. It's really depends. I like to do that too though. I slice my meat the way that I slice my veggies. So it depends on the, um, to make everything uniform and cook evenly. Okay. Now you know this is not a rice that I 
to let, that I really know how to prepare. It never comes out the way that I know that it should, so I stay away from it. Yeah, because that's how red rice is. Sometimes you come out perfect, sometimes uh -huh. you don't. And then I just think back to that that taste that you all have. I never really can master that taste that I grew up on. Yeah, yeah. So I it's, just stay away from it. It's just just one good recipe that it's kind of always tastes different. Yeah. It smells good already, though. Yes, it does. Okay, so we're going to let the sausage simmer with the veggies for a little while. Yes. And then... So we'll put a top on this, and yes. then we'll we'll come right back. Okay. All right, we'll be right back, guys. All right. Okay, okay, so the sausage and the peppers have already rendered down. So now we're going to start adding the tomato products, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you're going to add in tomato paste. Uh-huh. Okay, so I have crushed tomatoes, which are it's thicker than sauce, but not as thick as paste. Paste. Okay, so I'm adding in my crushed tomatoes. Now, should I have enough? You're going to do a whole can of tomato paste? Yes. Okay. I have um, 12 ounces can. Okay. Because the tomato paste give, you the, give them the color, too. Okay. See, that's the part that I'm missing. That deep red color. Yeah, it gives you a color. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. Do you add a sweetener to this? A sugar? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay, so you sweeten it up that way. So I'm going to add the sauce. Okay, what size can do you have? I have two 8-ounce cans. Okay, so I have one 8-ounce can. That should be enough. Okay. I, 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 using, I might use two, but it's okay. Okay, so I have my sauce. Okay, so I'm going to take a, a can of water out the taste and the sauce. Okay. So I have my water, and just use your can, people. If you, um, if you're a little leery about how much water to add, I typically eyeball the water, but I'm just trying to yes. make sure that I am cooking this the right way. You rather, you rather put less water than more water. Okay, because the yeah, rice will be too salty. Add, you, yeah, you can add, always add, but you can't take away. So you rather put less water. Okay, that's true. So mine is pretty, I think our consistency is about the same. Okay. Now yours is going to thicken up more, of course, because you're using that the paste. Paste. So I can add in like, I think it's fine. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Can you see mine? Yes. Okay. Let me, let me see let me, a little bit more. Let me pull it closer. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. And so then after this step, we'll let this reduce down a little bit more. And then yes. after this step, we would be adding in the rice, the actual rice. No, we need to add the seasoning. You need to add your seasoning? Yes, I did it to my um what so what are you adding? You're doing seasoning I salt? Added seasoning salt. Okay. And I'm gonna taste mine just to be on the safe side. Okay, some black pepper. Yep, I added black pepper. Mmm, it tastes like it. It tastes like it. It tastes like it. Oh, I'm excited. I do. That sugar is going to change it. So I, I need to get some sugar. That's going to be the, the thing. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited because it's tasting like it. So I'm going to put in a little sprinkle of sugar. Now, I don't know how much sugar I just put in there, but I did put a sprinkle. Oh, we have a similar sugar thing. Look at mine, see? Mine has a little green, a little green top too. A little green lining on it. All right, so let me give this a little rinse. Stir it. Okay. Let me get a little, let me get a taste of spoon. Mmm, it's definitely tasting like it. 
People, this is so exciting. I've never made red rice the right way. So this is so exciting. <laughs> Jada, you're gonna like this red rice, honey. I can see yours, I can see that dark red color, the rich color in yours right from the, the camera too. Mm-hmm. You need something else? I need to add a little bit more. So, salt. Yeah, that's what I just did. I added a little more salt to mine too. So we should be good to go. So people, that's what you have to do. Just adjust. I don't normally test all my food when I'm cooking, except if I'm cooking for a big group of people, I will test it. But I go by the smell and the consistency a lot. Yeah, yeah. That's dangerous. I, I don't either test, test, you know, all yeah. my food. Cause I think a lot of stuff is just go to. You just it's your go to. You you know it like the back of your hand kind of. Yeah. So now we're gonna let this reduce down. Yes. And then we'll come back and show them how we're gonna add the rice. Okay. What did you do? Add a little bit more water. Water. Okay. It's not. I think I'm good on the water. I have a little thing of water right here too. Just I'll just add a little bit more. Look, I want to be just like you. So I'm adding in just a little bit more water. Okay, alrighty. So just stay tuned. We're gonna be right back. We're gonna just put the tops on our pots and let the sauce simmer down. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, guys, we have allowed our sauce to thicken up and reduce down. And so now is the time that we're gonna add in the rice, the essential ingredient. Okay, so I have what type of rice are you using? I'm at parboil. Okay, yep. Yeah. So I'm using parboiled rice too. Now, when I'm pouring in my rice, am I, what's the balance here? What's the, the balance is half the rice underneath the sauce. Okay. And you stir it at the same time as you added the rice. Oh, okay. So get a good shape. I had a two pound, two pound bag. Uh huh. So I'm not gonna actually put the whole two pound bag. I'll probably do a pound and a half. Okay. So I think ours is looking about the same. Okay. Okay. Here, look at. Let me pull mine closer so you can see it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to. What do we do now? Just let it simmer. We just gonna let it. We just gonna let it come down. Uh huh. For about 30, 30 to forty minutes. Okay. With the lid on. And then yeah, with the lid on, we can cook it on like a. We can cook it on five and a half, six. Okay, so like medium. Yeah. Okay. And then we just leave it long. Okay. So then you said, okay, so the other thing that we'll do halfway through, do we fluff? Uh -huh. we, we're going to fluff it or? Fluff it. Okay, give it a little fluff. We probably could um, add some more margarine. Okay. Or olive oil. Olive oil, whichever one you choose to use. Okay. And then you'll be almost done. Okay. So the consistency that we're looking for is a more of a drier consistency or wetter? A uh, wetter, but not. No, we we stick it together. Okay. We want it separate. So a little moist, so a little fluff and moisture at the same yeah. time. Okay. Yeah, with the rice separate. Okay. You know, it's not stuck together. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, so we're gonna let this rice cook, like she said, for about 30 to 40 minutes, and then we'll come back and we'll plate it up halfway through. We will add some additional oil. So if you have butter or olive oil, margarine, whatever's your preference, you would add it in here halfway through, maybe like a, a tablespoon or two of... Um, you know, I use about... <laughs> <laughs> She's going to use another stick of margarine. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to do a couple of swirls of olive oil on my end. <laughs> so you do whatever makes you happy on your end. That's what we're going to do in here. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so we'll come right back. So stay tuned. We're almost done. Just hang in there with us. Alrighty, people. Okay, so she was right about the butter. 
So don't tell her, but I did add more butter to my pot. Don't tell her that she was right. It is helping to make the rice a little bit more um, moist than that olive oil, but don't tell her that I told you that I added that butter. She thinks I added olive oil, which I did, but you get my point. Okay guys, so we're back and we're gonna start plating up. Lisa is plating up her rice. So this is what hers is looking like. Does That looks delicious. And I'm going to start putting mine in a plate here. So I'll put mine in a bowl. Oh, mine isn't pouring out, so I'm going to have to give this a little bit of a... Now, can you see mine? Yeah. Okay. Looking good. All right, so we're going to put this in a nice serving bowl. Because when we have our guests coming over, we're going to just have this all ready. For them to take a nice little serving out the bowl. And then of course we're going to do a test taste for you. Did you sample yours at all? Yes. Okay. It's delicious. Okay. So, and then I'll plate up a little. And then we can take a little taste. And see if we if we really like it. It looks good. I'm excited because my stuff never turns out the way that I know that it should. So, alrighty. All right. I got mine in a little bowl here already. All right. Can you get that? Look at that. Hmm? Yeah, your torture. It's looking good. So, all right, let's take a little. All right. Take a little taste. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Very much. Seasoning is good. The sausage is good. Mmm. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Texture is good. Mm hmm. Now. Again, with the color difference, Lisa used tomato paste in hers, and I used crushed tomatoes instead of tomato paste. So, for that richer, darker color, use tomato paste. But, thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you. For showing us how to make a traditional Charleston red rice. We are so excited. So, this has been great. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and my family. And uh, continue to stay uh, tuned to the feed. Because we have some crab salad coming up. And we have stuffed peppers coming up on the feed. So, alright. From our kitchens to your kitchens. With love. Many blessings.